Hi there, it's uh, Sandra King representing Botcher England with this week's hashtag Botcher at Home um, Rainbow Cup Red Challenge. So this is all about creating a block. So we're going to start with your jack ball and uh, in this case one red ball on the court. They are um, touching each other and they're in line. So from your position, they'll look like this. I put it sideways on so you can just see what we're doing this week and we're aiming to block up in front so we want balls that are in front here okay but we're going to score differently depending on what sort of ball you deliver so first of all um, the nice easy block is to play into these other balls to nestle in and if your ball comes up and touches this red ball even if it touches and bounces back again that's a one point shot. However, if you can make this into a placement shot so that it doesn't touch the red at any time, that now is worth five points. So the first thing we're looking for in a block is breadth. So I'm gonna just turn this around to face you now. Here's our first ball that scored five points. There's a, a gap between that blue and that red. And the next balls we're looking to give you that width, okay? Because these are also placement shots, they're not playing into another ball, you get five points for them. And you can have as much breadth as you like, and you will score five points for each of these balls. If they touch another ball, remember you're only going to get one point this time, okay? So five points for every ball that creates a broad or a wide block. So the next thing we're going to look at is we also really need some depth in a block. So let's say you've played your first three balls. They've all been placement shots. They haven't touched another ball. So they've scored five points each. Um, we now want to create some depth in the block. So instead of putting the next one alongside again, we're going to try and put these in front exactly the same they're still placement shots they're still ideally not going to touch the ones in front okay so these however because we've gone to the next uh, we're going to score 10 points for these so we've got five points for every ball you choose to put uh, across your block in the first row you've got 10 points for every ball you choose to put across your block in the second row and then finally we could also look, like to look for some height. So we're looking for width and depth and height, the three different dimensions. This is obviously a much harder shot to try and get a ball up on the top to create that height here. So this, any ball on top is going to be worth 25 points. So you can work this out any which way you want to. You might decide you want two balls wide but then you're going to put three balls wide in the front because this front row is going to give you more points so that would give you five and five is ten 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 and ten is thirty so we've got forty points there all together and if we can get one on the top that's going to make it sixty five however you've got to have more than one in a row so we can't just go for one there two there and put the others all on the top i don't think we physically possible but you know we've got to have at least two to create the width we've got to have at least two this way to create some depth All right so you choose how you do it five points for a placement shot in the first row 10 points for a placement shot in the second row and 25 points for a height shot that gets climbed on top of the balls and we're taking those measurements at the time when each ball is thrown. So just for a bit of clarity, if you throw your first ball and it's successful and it doesn't touch the red, it scores five points. If you throw your second ball and it touches, remember a touching ball is only ever worth one point. This touching ball has made that one touch. Doesn't matter, we've already scored that one. It doesn't matter, you've moved that. So you take the score at the time when you make the shot. So you make the first shot, that's five points. You make the second shot, so we're going to go for whip, that's another five points. You make your third shot and it overruns and pushes in, 
that one's only one point because it's touched another ball. You can still make a next shot and it's a placement shot in front made a separate row. So that one's worth 10 points. And that one on the top is worth 25. OK, so in summary, one point if you touch another ball, five points in the first row, 10 points in the second row, 25 points on the top. Good luck. Have fun with that. Bye for now.